inside one minute remaining in the first half. Clinton Lynch finds a little gap on the right side and exploits it down inside the five-yard line. Go. Illinois dominating. A strip to the corner is lost by Lynch. First half. Illinois was still two timeouts remaining, so that the clock really isn't a factor as far as dealing with timeouts, but they have to. You'd have to think they've got a couple more plays to get after it here. It's only second down. Second down, goal to go. Oh, the tight end trapped in the middle, and the back didn't follow him. Oh, if he just goes off Dilger's rear end, that's an easy Illinois touchdown. Camino Bell. <laughs> Dilger came back on an inside trap. Bell took it to the right side. He's short of the goal line. Boy, you, you don't go back to where the guy left who's doing your blocking. If he just hits right off the crease, right behind Dilger. Here we're going to take it. Here it is right from the end zone. Here comes Dilger in motion. You see the crease right there. Uh -oh. If he just follows Dilger into the end zone, ooh, that's a walk in. Hey, this is a little startling. Illinois has had the ball a little over 20 minutes, while Houston has had it just under nine. There it is, right there, the time of possession. And you're right. That is what everybody would like to do against the Houston Cougars. Well, Ben Hurt and his group. If ever they had a big play, this would be the proper place and time to execute that big play. They need a break. And in this situation, the only way you're going to get a break is to make it yourself. Third down goal to go. 13 this seconds remaining. In the first half, the Camino Bell and Joe Media are the setbacks. 13 seconds remaining. where being at home is a big help. They didn't get in. They didn't get in. Camino Bell. And again, it'll be Mark Short, and it will be fourth down. Uh, here we go. This is interesting, Frank. You go for it, or do you kick the field goal? Well, I think ordinarily you would go for it, but your defense has been playing so well, you have to figure that Ordinarily, Houston's going to put a lot of points on the board. You got to gamble a little bit, but the Houston Illinois defense has played so well. They have kept Houston to just three points here thus far in the first half. So I, it's a tough decision. You know, I, you know, I was an offensive lineman, so I always maybe had a jaded perspective. But that ball is at the six-inch line. My, I always thought that if you can't stuff it in from six inches out, that you shouldn't win the ball game anyway. And when you're playing a team that can score points as quickly as the University of Houston, I think the players are telling John Makovic, let's go for it. Let's go for it. If we don't get in, we'll suffer the consequences. And that's exactly what they're going to do as John Makovic sends his offensive unit back out. And even if they don't get in, you go in with a 14 to 3 lead. And I think here is a, a good case of where the risk uh, uh, justifies the potential reward. Sergio job fast, three tight ends. Camino Bell, 34, Joe Muti, 41 with two setbacks. Bell. Touchdown, Houston. Smart call. Smart call. Illinois playing an almost perfect first half. Tactically, physically, in every way. And uh, Houston Cougar is down. We've got an injured Houston player down in the end zone. Here it is from behind. If you're the middle linebacker, Ryan McCoy, this is your look. Just power football. There is a good lead block out front by Jonathan Kerr. There's Dilger in motion. 
Here comes Kerr, the guard, around to the outside. And Camino Bell just gets it in. They didn't have far to go. Darren Woods was the injured Cougar, and now he's being assisted off the field. 